creating and managing Google Meet breakout rooms. When you first begin to set up your Google Meet breakout rooms, you're of course going to need to decide how many rooms you're actually going to need. With that uh, in information, you're then going to need to create a way to organize your students and those links. So you can see here on the slide that I have created a table that I can use where I can list my student names and I would be able to hyperlink where it says group one, group two, group three, and group four with the link to those specific breakout rooms. I also have the option of doing this in Google Sheets. In Google Sheets, it would look something like this. Notice I've also um, gone ahead and added some places where I can add links to a specific activity that I want them to complete. Now that I have sort of my structure in place, I need to go through and actually create my Meet links. To do this, I have uh, several options that I could use. One is by going and going to Meet and just simply setting up a variety of meetings. So to do that, I would click my join or start meeting. I would go ahead, I could even code this as group one if I wanted and hit continue. At this point, I'm going to have the link available. So I would go ahead, I would just hit join now because I wanna make sure this is going to work. And I'm going to copy this hyperlink and I would drop it down into my spreadsheet or my group and link it so that it would be easy for my students to access. For every group, I would need to repeat that process. Another option that I have available to me to do this is by scheduling them through Google Calendar. If I use Google Calendar to set up my Meet Rooms, I can limit the time that that room is going to be available. So if I would, for example, click on this date, double click, it will open up my ability to set up a meeting. So I might call this Group 1. I need to make sure here that I add the Google Meet video conferencing to that. And up here where it says all day, I could check that off and say, I only want this Meet, read, uh, that this meet um, to be open from 10 to 10.30. I would then be able to copy this meeting option here. Excuse me, I don't wanna edit that. I could edit it if I wish, but I could go ahead and copy that link and then do the same thing. I would be able to go ahead and hyperlink that over into my Google Meet breakout rooms. The nice thing about doing this with calendar is I could go ahead and add people that I wanted to invite. Now, in the case of our students, they will not get an email notification on this, um, but it would allow them to enter that meeting. Once it would expire off of that Google calendar, then no one would be able to enter it. That link will no longer be good. Once I've done that, it is now gonna be time for me to use this with my class. All right, so this is how Google Meet would be working uh, to do breakout rooms with our students. So here I have my group of class um, of seven right now, and we're gonna get ready and we're gonna jump into some breakout rooms. So what I have done, there is a document here where I have preloaded links for group one and group two, as well as a Jamboard activity link for them to participate in. I've clearly uh, said what is in, who is in group one, who is in group two, and what frame of that Jamboard they're going to do. To share this with my class, I'm going to go to my share button up here in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to make sure that where it says get link, I'm gonna go ahead and change this link to anyone in AACPS with the link can view. I can then copy this link and I'm going to paste it into the chat of my whole group meeting so that all of my students have access to this. So everyone, I'm going to have you, um, I'd like you to mute yourself in this whole group meeting. You're going to click on the document I just dropped into the chat. You're going to find your group uh, link at the top. Go ahead and jump into that and then you have a Jamboard slide to complete. Um, myself as a teacher, I'm going to now come in. I'm going to open up each of these groups so that I am able to jump back and forth between all of them. And I could certainly have these open ahead of time so that I would be monitoring that as we went. I am gonna go ahead, I am going to set a timer where that is going to bring them back in just a few seconds they will be able to hear this timer because they have um, still, my screen will be shared in the original meet. In the original meet, because I am gonna present that, they will be able to hear the ding when the time is up. So I need to do a Chrome tab for that. 
And here's my share. And I'm going to have them start that timer. And I can, as a teacher, jump back and forth between these meets and be able to monitor what is going on in that session. So here is one of my groups. Um, I can come here. I can also open up that Jamboard that I had shared out so that I can still monitor what is going on and if they are actually staying on task with the assignment that I gave them. We can hear the timer going off. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that. All right, everyone, I need you to come back to the original main meet for me. You can see they are jumping out of the meet that they were originally in and coming back to the original one. So I can stop presenting and everyone can now unmute themselves and we will continue on with our discussion. Some things to think about when you're working with Google Breakout Rooms. One, the information could be posted in Classroom instead of through the chat. So if you wanted to set up uh, where your students maybe went to breakout rooms before coming to the whole group, you could post all of that information in Classroom. And then of course, um, as the teacher, have all of those open and ready to go at the approved time. You are going to want to consider installing the mute tab extension. This is going to get quite noisy because you're not going to be able to mute each individual room. So to make it easier for you to kind of distinguish what's being said in each room, you may want to install that extension so that you can mute three out of the four groups and then um, be able to toggle back and forth between them that way. And then finally, if you want to see all of your breakout rooms on the screen at one time so you can kind of monitor body language and what's happening, then you may want to consider splitting your screen. And you can do that using the Windows key on your uh, keyboard itself and then using the left, right, up and down arrows to lock those individual tabs into a specific place on the screen. And you can have up to four uh, boxes, if you will, four tabs open um, on your screen at one time so that you would be able to see everyone. Of course, depending on the size of your screen is gonna depend on how large you can see them, but that is certainly something to consider. Finally, if you have any questions about Google Breakout Rooms, be sure to reach out to your school's eCoach. Every school does have one. Uh, you can also, of course, reach out to your OIT teacher specialist. And then we also have two websites available that have information on Google Meet for you. One is going to be our AACPS Google resource page. And then our other is going to be the Intro to Google and Other Digital Tools uh, website that we have uh, created. Both of those websites can be found on class link. The AACPS Google resource page is going to be uh, in the orange instructional technology folder on class link. And that intro to Google and other digital tools is going to be the Google G that is outside of that folder. Um, as always, please remember to follow us on Twitter at AACPS OIT. Thank you very much for watching today.